Hello, everyone. My name is Wendy Daniels. I'm the director of the Accessibility Solutions Lab, XR Lab, within the College of NTID. We are housed within the Center of Culture and Language. We've been working with smart glasses and how to make the world more accessible. Within your view of the smart glasses, we're adding augmented reality in the form of real-time interpreting. So we've been planning about how to make this possible within museum settings. I've been presenting on the fourth floor and the interpreter is housed in the first floor in the basement. In that room, we happen to have a green screen for the interpreter to stand in front of. And as we were testing, it looked fairly good. But once we got back to campus, we realized that when people wear the glasses, that green screen is very distracting for the user. So we decided to design a small research project with three different individuals, one person being white, another Hispanic, and another black. We gave all three people five different color shirts, black, gray, white, pink, and blue. We gave them a script to interpret. They all had the same script to follow. While we were recording these individuals with those scripts, we used five different colors for the background. background. One was black, gray, white, green, and blue. We tested the visibility of all these different iterations. Altogether, we did 60 different videos. The color of the shirt and the background didn't make an impact for the individual who was Hispanic. The background for the white signer was important. It should be either black or blue. For the black signer or interpreter, the recommended background color is black or gray. The point of my discussion is that backgrounds Virtual backgrounds are not helpful. Professional backgrounds are the best. So that's what we've been researching in my lab. <laughs> 